quick here for a second. There are actually special moves here, so just taking out Josh, which one we're using. Yeah, what's really weird... Oh, there you go. Um, okay, cool. Oddy is Siren Guy, always. So we got Captain Commando, Captain America, the Punisher. Oh, Josh is definitely going to get the Punisher. Josh loves the Punisher. <laughs> okay, Iron Man, ex Explosion. Um, dang right attack, laser shot, okay. He's only got one input, but you know, I'm a I'm crap at games, so I think the one input sounds good to me. As long as over P OP overpowered. Yeah, they got me. I always loved Iron Man suit. So without fucking around, let's get going. The problem is it doesn't ever these beast race games, they don't explain what these modes are. What the fuck is gang streets and what is revenge? A, a boss rush, do you think? Alright, we're gonna go ga gang streets. Um can you I think if you press up and down, you actually do alternative colors. I'm going to have to do traditional Iron Man. One thing I've always loved about Iron Man is the gold and red. So I have to play him originally. Oh, can you see your magic bar so you can actually... Okay, here we go. I've actually never played... Um, the original one, I think, was called Captain America and the Avengers. I never had a snare, so I've never actually played this game. So, um, this is new to me. Does this look accurate to what the original game looks like? Does it? You've never played it, neither. Okay, none of us have actually played this before, so this is new to us. Wow, see that splash damage? It's got a big radius on that. Oh my god. That, that was pretty cool. Oh my god, stop jumping in the air. <laughs> He's doing like the Ultimate Warrior body splash. Did you know what your two secret moves were? Yeah. You've got to use him. Oh, there you go. You got it. The projectile kind of disappears half off, uh, halfway through the screen, so it never like kind of does a full screen clear. You notice that? I don't know if it's like a limited one, but um, you would have thought it would have went all the way across. I want to test it, but um, my, my magic is quite low. Yeah, he did. That wasn't a good spawn right there. Early impressions, not too bad actually. Not too bad. We've played a lot of rotten beats of rage games, so this one isn't too bad. But I'm pretty sure we'll find flaws in it later. Like this music is really, really repetitive. I think team damage is off, which is actually quite nice. Yeah, wish more games did that. Yeah. Stay there a second. Let me shoot off the screen. You go all the way to the right, Zach. I want to check the projectile. Oh, it does go all the way across, but when it makes contact with an enemy, it seems to like hit very early, giving it the appearance that it um, doesn't really land correctly. I can't even get off the floor. Oh my god. I tell you what, they don't take no prisoners. They are just... Christ almighty, getting off the floor. No, there's no knockdown. It's quite good though, because we could just like stun attack. Yeah. 
Yeah, not too bad. Um, very cheap AI though. Like I said, I was just getting hit constantly when I was getting off the floor. No, yeah, if you're gonna respawn enemies, don't make them look up, um... Yeah, look at the size of these doors. Who, live, who lives in these doors? Who lives in these houses? Phantos, yeah. He's stuck on the uh, box. So this is double dragon music. So this is double dragon then, I suppose. I tell you what, the double dragon music is so good though. Say what you want about the game, but the music's great. Actually, um, secretly, the next game I'm gonna play, well, we're playing three games tonight, we're trying to. The third game has double dragon in it, so there's a little surprise there. I've already leaked it, but um, that's my plan. Yeah. I love this music, it's so good. So badass, isn't it? I love it. it makes me smile listening to this music. It gives me hope to carry on. It's it's just that good. What version is this from? This ain't the this ain't the Mega Drive one, is it? Maybe dark yeah. Again, there's no health bars again, is there? So the, pro the problem when you don't see um, the enemy health bar is that you don't actually know what's the optimal attack. You don't know what attacks doing what. Fuck. Yeah, he spawned right in as well. This, yeah, the spawns are really quite off. They, they need to be hidden off screen. Otherwise, it breaks the illusion, doesn't it, really? Yeah. Oh, here we go. What's it? What? Why you... That's Mr. X, isn't it? Or whatever his name is. Machine Gun Willy, but he doesn't have any shirt on. You can't even... I cannot even spam. I can't even spam my finisher coming off the floor. See how cheap that is? The AI is so cheap in this game. Yeah, there's no invincible frame, so you just get hit over and over again. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Yeah. Fucking hell, we're just gonna have to fire range attacks from now on. Alright, let's go. I'm just gonna run and splash. What on earth is going on? Okay, you go that side. Oh, that's better. We've got him there. Actually, no, that's it. Okay, good. Wow, I tell you what, the AI is brutal in this game. They do not mess around. When you're on the floor, coming off the floor, I was spamming my special. I couldn't even get it off, even spamming it. Specials usually give you invincible frames, right? What is this? So, Josh says these are from Final Fight 2, and possibly 3. Is it? So, this is Final Fight, okay. No. in as well yes yeah, coming off the floor though cool brutal yeah it's not but yeah so far i'm actually quite enjoying this game but it does need to be polished up yeah because that looks stupid
What is that guy doing in the background with the um, with the bins? With the barrels, yeah. What is he doing back there? Thank God there's no team damage though, because this could have been this could have been a rotten experience if that, that there was. One thing about these Beats of Rage games, I have played Beats of Rage games before where there was hardcore nudity in the, like in the backgrounds, even some hardcore porn on some of them. And I was thinking, Jesus Christ, what if I stream that? I don't know about it. Because that's the thing when you play these family games, you don't know what kind of shit might, there might be in these games. Yeah, maybe I'll get banned for just a week, who knows, but you know, I don't intend to show hardcore porn on my <laughs> on this channel. And now people that are watching this might actually be thinking, I wonder what game that was. I'm not talking about it. What on earth is this? Any idea what game that's from? Hmm. Probably a SNES for beat em up. We never played much SNES, so... If I didn't recognize it, chance it might be from a SNES game. Yeah. I do like how we could actually attack from both sides though, that's quite nice. Yeah. Okay, one down. Okay, down he goes. What's that, level two? Level three, okay. Interesting looking area. What's this? Some sort of lab? Laboratory? Yeah, they've turned these enemies, uh, these bosses to enemies. Let's away from the come on screen. A lot of these uh, Beast Rage games are four players too. If you look at the top of the screen, it makes you wonder how well that would go though in, in terms of balancing. Like, when it, you know, it might just be a bit too chaotic. I like when they got this lovely, uh, the lovely widescreen effect though. Some of the Beast Rages has that and it looks really, really nice. That's more suited for a four player game. Rastan 3. What, how many players is that? Three player? I don't, I don't think I, I've never even heard of a Rastan 3. Warrior Blade. What's that, Arcade Owner? Hmm. Well, there might be a Beats of Rage, because you know how all the fans like making, uh, bringing these to life, to life on the Beats of Rage engine? Because all the sprites in the background are already done, aren't they? So all you got to do is really kind of copy and paste them over. But obviously that still requires a lot of work, but yeah, um, I'll have to check that out. I was a big fan of Rast on the Sega Master System, but that game was disgustingly difficult. Then Rastan 2. What was Rastan 2 about? That was, that was a... It was hideous, wasn't it? Rastan had possibly the greatest soundtrack I ever heard though. Level 1 and level 2's music was amazing. Oh god, it's so good. Yeah, Rastan was basically Conan. But Golden Axe is pretty much Conan as well when you think about it. I mean, they even ripped War Screams from First Blood and Conan, didn't they? Go. Cool. So we got the... Was it the Icon of Sin? Icon of Sin from Doom 2. 
in the background. <laughs> what? Okay, so we have a Doom 2 last boss as the background. It looks really res as well. See, I wouldn't have knew that if you didn't see that. I wouldn't have had a clue where they got it from. Oh dear. I've seen this guy before. Should we just keep running all the way to the right? God, I picked these rooms. Oh, it's the elevator. Okay, we've got an elevator stage. Do you know what might be a good idea? We just like stack damage on top of each other. We both go on the same sprite and just like beat the shit out of it. It does, yeah. So it could be a good strategy on bosses and stuff. You just like pull it. That's a really weird weapon. There's like kind of metal prongs that you hit, you know, to vibrate. Why would you be using those as weapons? That's really weird. Ah. Final Fight 3. Wasn't that one completely botched, if I remember correctly? There was something really wrong with it. Yeah. Final, and Final Fight on SNES didn't even have the um, co-op of the arcade, did it? So it's... What, on SNES? Really? Mm -hmm. Are you serious? Oh, that sounds so shit. Yeah. I do want to play some Final Fights, but I want to play the Beats of Rage ones because um, from what I saw, those are really, really well done. Um, really good fan edits. And you've got a chicken from Streets of Rage here. Fucking hell, this, he's, a, he's awkward, isn't he? No. Yeah, that was a bit underwhelming. For a sprite as big as he, he didn't really put up a fight, did he? He was like a standard enemy. Whoops. All right, I need to get that. We haven't really failed to complete any of these Beats of Rages. I don't want to blow our own trumpets and say we're great at these games, but um, whenever we've actually played one, no matter how bad it is, we seem to somehow get through. So maybe this one we can actually get through, because we want to... Oh, that's a... I, I played him recently. That's Splatterhouse 3. One of the hardest games I've played on Mega Drive. That game is hard. Yeah, I, I actually beat it. So yeah, if you want to see some Splatterhouse 3, um, check out my previous streams. It's on there. Yeah, definitely have, like, yeah, edges so we can throw people off the elevator. That was always a really fun part. Yeah. More fun. And, but, you know, it's not too broken because you can fall off yourself as well for, for you know, some balancing. This game does suffer from a little bit of like can't see your sprite. There's a lot going on sometimes, yeah, you get lost. I'm definitely gonna have to do the thumbnail as Iron Man doing that move. It just looks a bit too cool, doesn't it? He is. Okay, down he goes. That's level four or five. Usually these beat em ups are around about eight stages. They usually take the Streets of Rage formula, so hopefully it's only eight because we've got two more games after this. Yeah, Maximum Carnage was 12, but they were very quite short, weren't they? So it never felt too long. 
Yeah, Maximum Carnage is actually quite a lot better than this one, I'd say, so far. It just felt a bit more, um, well, this is just a mishmash of different stuff, isn't it? Where Maximum Carnage felt like Maximum Carnage. It kind of nailed his premise. This is just completely random. Yeah, the Maximum Carnage story was great. Whoever put that together did a good job. The Brazilian, Brazilian guy. Yeah. But I like that. He actually tried to he put effort into that, you know? It's, it required a lot. Could have been better, better written, of course, but we still appreciate that it was in there. Some of these people just don't do jack shit with their game. They throw it out. They don't even test it. It's like, what the fuck's this? I mean, what's the point? Like, starting it and putting it out of it, it's just... It's like one level on. Oh, God. Yeah. Yep. These guys are relentless sometimes. When look at this. <laughs> He's just battering me coming off the floor. No. There's no AI to say, yeah, don't knock him down four times in a row without them, like, having any kind of input. Like this. Christ. Maybe running to the end of the stage might be a good strategy. Maybe we should do that more. And just fight them all on the left, if that makes sense. Could, could be a good idea. Oh, do you? Three hit infinite? Okay. Okay. My, mine's a bit faster, I think. I do like that uppercut, though. The finishing uppercut hit attack. That's quite cool. Well, that was a pretty short stage. Yeah, it was short. Catch this losing at this stage. Um, we haven't even lost a continue yet, have we either? Yeah. Yeah, it is. And I'm, again, I'm predicting only eight levels, so I'm probably well over halfway. Yeah. Oh my god, I know I seen this guy. This is this is the last boss from MVC2, yeah. Yeah, he's stunned. I don't think they took that in um I don't think they took that in consideration where when you can't knock down a boss, you could Yeah. Because usually with bosses like this, you knock them down and they come back with invincible frames to hit you. But because you can't go down, we're just constantly looping them over and over again. So the bosses are like easier than some of the enemies. The new Avenger saved the Earth. Is that it? Save, save to the Earth. Oh, my reading is. Uh, thank you, Avengers. That's it. I think that's the game over. Yeah, that was. Um, if that really is the end game, that was really mediocre. Um, I mean, it's not, it's not, awful, not awful. Not awful, but. I, yeah, definitely not really worth playing. There's much, much better Beats of Rages than this out there, so yeah. I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend playing it unless you're a diehard fan. Maximum Carnage was a much better superhero game. If you want to play one, do Maximum Carnage. Anyway, um, Oddy, you still alive? Cool, well, we're going to move on to the next game, and uh, we'll see you there. So, oh, wait a second. Well, thank God you said that. I was just about going to close the stream. 
to be continued. So I guess he was going to do a part two. Yeah. Maybe he's even available. Um, I've got to admit, I wasn't that impressed with this one, though, so I probably won't bother. No, it was, it was, it was okay. Yeah, not bad. It, just a mishmash of just shit, really. Yeah. But anyway, um, that's the Avengers. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again.